Welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's On The Move, and today I'm taking a look at our 40-quart Orca high-performance cooler. Stick around. Orca manufactures much higher performance coolers than your typical cooler, meaning that it has much thicker insulation and is gonna keep the stuff you put in it colder for a lot longer. Orca's main competitor is probably Yeti, which manufacture a similar style cooler. Orca manufactures coolers in sizes ranging from 20 quarts all the way up to 140 quarts, and the size of the cooler is stamped in the lower left-hand corner of the cooler. The size indicates how much you can actually put inside the cooler, but the outside dimensions are considerably larger because the insulation is so thick. If you go online, you can find out the actual dimensions of each size cooler and the interior dimensions of the coolers as well. They come in a whole variety of colors. This is the blaze orange color. They come in a whole bunch of other colors as well, from white to blue to whatever you want. And they even have some sports coolers that have sport team logos stamped right on the top of the cooler. As you can see right off the bat, this is a very sturdy, durable cooler. It features a gasket on the inside that seals down very tightly and that helps to make this cooler bear proof in conjunction with this gasket to help keep the smell from escaping the cooler and these strong rubber tie downs this cooler is officially a bear proof container that you can keep food in outside your camper even if you're in bear country the cooler is super easy to operate you just open and close it like a normal box but then you use these rubber tie downs to pull you stretch them down and into their position and it holds the lid down super tight the tie downs are supported by this big metal bar that runs through the entire front end here and is super sturdy. On the back side of the lid as well, there is another big metal bar that runs through the back and the hinge seems really rock solid. The cooler also features handholds on either side to easily pick the cooler up with, from one person, but it also features extended handles with a nice rigid grip, a rubber grip that's actually firm. And this is really great for carrying it with two people once it's fully loaded. On the back side of the coolers, they feature this pocket for additional storage. This is really great for throwing like your keys and things like that in when you take the cooler out to the beach or wherever the heck you are. On one side of the cooler, you'll find the drain. The drain plug is a pretty hefty piece of plastic that can completely be removed from the cooler to help clean it out. It does have holes on either side of it so that you could just crack it to drain out any water that might be in the cooler. On the bottom of the cooler, you'll find that it has these big rubber feet that are somewhat non-slip it really helps to keep the cooler in place. This particular cooler lives in the back of our truck and these really help to, to keep it in place. It kind of fits into the grooves of the bed of the truck and keeps it from sliding around. That can also be a little bit of a challenge though for us because when we try to slide it into the truck, it can kind of get stuck on those grooves because of these big feet. On the inside of the cooler, the bottom is mostly flat, but it gently slopes to one side. And then there's a little bit of a sump at the bottom to assist with drainage. We've had this cooler for the whole summer and it's been working great for us. Orca states that it can maintain ice or cold in the cooler for up to 10 days. In our experience, we've tested it out in some extreme conditions. First of all, we used it on the set of filming a movie. We kept it in the back of our truck in well over 100 degree temperatures. Underneath the tonneau cover in our truck, it exceeded one 100 degrees almost every day and we were able to keep things cold for about three days in those conditions. In more conventional usage we've used the cooler for uh, additional refrigerator storage outside our RV in temperatures ranging from 70 to 90 degrees and in those conditions we typically can keep things cold in it for five to six days. This is definitely a step up from your typical cooler and that's what these things excel at is keeping stuff cold for a longer period of time. If you're getting this just to go to the beach for one day to keep your stuff cold Cold, it's definitely gonna keep it cold, but it's probably a bit overkill. The ton of insulation that it has and the sturdiness of this cooler is definitely awesome, but a drawback to it is that it's pretty heavy. This 40 quart version right here weighs 30 pounds completely empty. Their smallest cooler weighs 18 pounds and their largest one weighs 64 pounds. Because this cooler is so well insulated, we found that when we put ice in it and put our cold stuff in it sometimes, when it's a hot day and you've got it open and you go and you close it, this gasket 
it is such a good seal that it will actually like suction the lid closed for a while and it's incredibly difficult to open. You may be able to break that seal by cracking the drain but if that doesn't work you're just gonna have to pry really hard to get this thing open. The Orca logo is this awesome little whale tail with a hook in it. One of their primary markets is fishermen. Keeping this on a boat, keep your fish in it, keep your drinks in it, whatever it is, it's definitely one of their biggest markets. And if you did put a fish in this and you need to clean it out really well, luckily there is nowhere for water to go. It can't get into the insulation or anything. It's really sturdy and well built. And you can even take things apart like the gasket on the drain itself or the gasket up top actually pulls out as well. So you could easily clean the gasket and everything around the cooler. A high performance cooler like this is going to cost you a little bit more and you might want to protect your investment. And Orca does sell a lock to go along with it, a cable lock. The cable lock is a master lock python cable lock so any cable lock of this size would probably work they've got the holes in the side that you can put it through and then just zip it closed if you get it really nice and tight against something it's even going to be kind of hard to open up the cooler itself which is kind of a feature to keep from people from getting into your stuff as well this particular lock after you feed it through the cooler wrap it around whatever it is it's not going to move you feed the cable into the locking device turn the key and the cable is not going to be able to pull out very easily overall we have loved having this cooler and i don't think i'd changed anything else it's super super durable which we love we love the bear resistance of it as well because we primarily use it when we're camping we set it outside our rv and lock it to one of the front legs of the rv it's great to know that bears are not going to be coming around the rv and trying to get into our food a lot of times we're off grid for long periods of time and we can't keep running to the store to get ice so being able to retain cold for such long periods of time is really great as well. This cooler pretty much lives in the back of our truck. It gets bounced around. It's definitely got some scratches on it, but it hasn't physically dinged at all. It's super, super durable, and we love that as well. Because this thing is so well built and sturdy, we find ourselves using it all the time for a seat or a stool as well, because it's just that sturdy and strong. Another thing I love about the Orca coolers is they are made right here in the USA. However, ours came with a little sticker right down here, a little American flag that said made in the USA, but only a couple days into owning the cooler in the hot, hot weather in the back of our truck, that little sticker fell right off and would not go back on. Fortunately, that sticker has nothing to do with this cooler's build quality or performance. The few drawbacks I already mentioned is that it's kind of heavy. You don't get a whole lot of storage space compared to a conventional cooler because it is has so much insulation. Another thing that I've noticed personally about the cooler is that it kind of has an almost porous type plastic in certain areas that kind of collects dirt and is very, very difficult to clean. So I think a lighter color, some dirt and grime, if you keep it in the back of your truck like we do, it might show up over time and become very difficult to clean. Overall, we are very happy with this cooler and expect it to last a very long time. Well, that's going to wrap up my review on our 40 quart Orca cooler. As always, thank you so much for joining us here on Road Gear Reviews. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to check us out for weekly uploads of road gear and travel related products.